this time round they meet and and different stadium and of course same players same tactics same coach what will happen it's just a matter of 30 minutes or should i say 27 minutes just to being coach thailand the right thailand boxing club plenty much to come as far as this particular show is concerned and remember uh, our question of the day today is do you really support or what's your take on Harambe Stars versus Iran performance? Remember our team, of course, they had some lessons to learn from Tehran and uh, the team actually registered 1-2 against um, Iran. And of course, that's bring us to, you know, the question of the day. What's your take on Harambe Stars performance versus Iran in the friendly matches that was played during the midweek? Of course, keep talking to us on all of our social media platforms. Remember, Facebook, we are live at KUTV Prime, um, at KUTV, of course. And uh, on Twitter, you can get us at KUTV underscore Kenya. And you can tag me along at Eva underscore zero one two. Remember the hashtag to use on the spot. Well, it's a good time to take a look at what is happening as far as the stories that we thought are possible to make the headline of this particular show today. Right, let's get the show started, shall we? The National Rugby Sevens team, Shuja, uh, of course, lost to Shuja's lost to their main cup finals that were held at uh, at Hong Kong's. The team's Shuja's hope of advancing to the main cup quarterfinals have all but vanished in the ongoing Hong Kong Seven series after losing to South Africa this morning, 17-26. Kenya lost to New, New, Ze to New Zealand 5-29 and to Australia 14-26 in, in their two opening matches that was held in Hong Kong. Well, now the, the league leaders, that is Australia, continue to lead with 120 points while, while, um, while uh, Argentina and, of course, France rank second and third place respectively.
Well, from rugby now to some football action. Embattled Football Kenya Federation President Nick Mwenda is a free man. This is after Magistrate Court on Wednesday acquitted Mwenda of all corruption charges leveled against him. Mwendoa faced accusation of misappropriation of 38 million Kenyan shillings meant for the development of Kenya football. Kiambu Senior Magi Principal Magistrate Wilson Riding in his ruling found the charges unfounded and unconstitutional. Football stakeholders now want Sports Cabinet Secretary Ababu Namwamba to make public details of the agreement with the World Football Governing Body, that is FIFA, that led to the lifting of Kenya's international suspension, none. If the deal include Nick Mwendo's returning to the helm of Football Kenya Federation. Well, now let's take a look at what happened during the Kenya Rugby Union election. Former Kenya Sevens Captain Humphrey Kayange has been elected as Kenya Rugby Union Director after defeating his opponent Leslie Mwangele. Moses Andale was also elected as Vice Chair, aging out Amboi Ratemo. Sasha Mutai, the 45-year-old quantity surveyor, is the new Kenya Rugby Union Chairman as declared by the Independent Electoral and Boundary Commission Officer Joseph Kamau during the union selection held at the Rugby Football Union of East Africa grounds. First on his agenda, Mutai said is to make sure Kenya 7 is not relegated from the World Rugby 7 series that has four legs remaining and compete in the Hong Kong 7s that is happening currently this weekend and ensure Kenya Lionesses participate in the 2024 Rugby World Cup qualifiers in June. Right, still matters rugby. The Kenya Rugby Union League enters its national quarterfinal stage this weekend with the four matches on the card as the team bid to secure the two slots to the 2023-2024 Kenya Rugby Union Championship. Administration police warriors host Kitale at j grounds in Juja in an early kickoff, setting the stage for the second clash between host j Quart, Kagas and Machakos at the same venue. Boy University Assonst will be at home to Makweni in Eldoret as Mombasa hosts Sigalagala National Polytechnic at Mombasa Sports Club. Right, let's switch gears. A hard-fighting Arambe Stars went down 2-1 to Iran to host Iran, courtesy of Ramin Razin's let goal, aided by a slip-up from goalkeeper Patrick Matasi, who had an arguably great night save for that incident. In the Tuesday's night match stage at the Azad Stadium in Tehran, Captain Michael Olunga, six minutes into the second half, made it 1-0 after cleverly losing his marker and unleashing a low drive into the right corner past the keeper. Iran's Mohamed Mohebi equalized in the 76th minute through a set piece before Ramini scored the second goal of the night for Iran. This is Arambe Star's first match following the suspension of the ban imposed by the FIFA last year. Yes, on the 
روی سان برای اولونگا یه حرکت تکنیکی از اولونگا اعتقاد داره اونجا به روی اون خطا انجام شده مدافع ما اولونگا اولونگا میزنه و دروازه رو باز میکنه دروازه رو باز میکنه عرض کردم شناخت او از چون که داره خودش رو آماده میکنه یک دگرگونی اساسی و عرض کردم عرض کردم ما باید به گل میرسیدیم و یه سال خوب روی زمین حرکت رضاییان با پای چپ اشتباه و توی دروازه گل دوم بردری داشتیم واسم برای اولونگا از سچا very epileptic game i hope some lessons have been learned now the 11th kenyan premier league sides are among the 16 clubs that advanced to the round of 16 of football kenya federation cup the crunch between defending champions gormaya and kakamega homeboys at moi stadium kasarani is on sunday expected to proceed uh, a lot of fireworks elsewhere kenya police will be in action against Ulinzi Stars in a Fande Derby at Kenyatta Stadium in Machakos. KCB will take on Bidco United at Kasarani Stadium, while Division 1 side Rainbow will dare KPL champions Tasca to a duel at the same venue. Karebangi Sharks face equity at Kasarani Annex on Sunday, the same day that Muranga Seals and FC Leopards will square it out at Nyayo Stadium in Nairobi. Right, now let's switch gears to international action. Manchester City will take on Liverpool at Etihad Stadium in an early kickoff in the English Premier League clash, while Bournemouth will be down to action against Fulham at Vitality Stadium, while Nottingham Forest will entertain Wolves at City Ground. Other matches scheduled for Saturday will see Chelsea bruise shoulders with Aston Villa at Stamford Bridge, while league leaders Arsenal will welcome Leeds United at Emirates Stadium. Three matches are set to be played on Sunday, where Manchester United will travel to St. James Park to battle it out with Newcastle United, while Everton will take on Tottenham Hotspurs at Goodson Park. Right, that does it for first segment of sport on the sport show. And of course, we'll taking our short break. But when we come back, Graffin uh, Okombe is in the house and we'll be taking a look at the hockey. And of course, we'll be diving di uh, directly into conversation about the just concluded World Under 20, of course, championship club that was held in Egypt. There is some lessons to be learned and of course, some healing to do and forging of a new future and um, graphene will be here to give us you know the dynamic of it all and of course what does the future hold for hockey as far as the youngster are concerned but remember the match between manchester city and liverpool is just a couple of minutes away remember these are the battle of the titan between the two of the most decorated english premier league sides that is liverpool and manchester city one of the most you know performing coaches with good history they have met in quite several occasions and today they meet yet again in a decider that could who knows could decide the phase or rather the turn that this particular league will take remember arsenal set the stage and the pace they lead with eight points on the top but manchester city have a game in hand if they win today the pressure will be mounting on arsenal of course, as the title race take yet another twist of turn. Of course, let's take this short break. But when we come back, it's all about hockey action.
maelfu na maelfu ya wahamiaji wakiwa na watoto kutoka nchi za Amerika ya Kati wanaendelea kuasili kwenye mpaka kati ya Marekani na Mexico the folks are going thank you very very much i appreciate it thank you ni habari kutoka pembe zote duniani pepo pasi kukufuku pepo pani idea tazidi ananyonya hanyonyi vizuri anakuwa hayuko comfortable jeshi la jamhuri ya kidemokrasia ya kongo linapambana na uasi wa adf kwa mashirika makampuni na vile vile vituo vya uchukuzi mambo mengi yatakwenda kama yalivyopangwa hapa ni kuna mmoja wa viongozi wa chama cha wavuvi katika eneo hili zaidi tunajaribu kuwapa chanjo ili ina boost ama inanyanyua kinga ya mwili ndio inaenda kupelekea kupambana kupambana na virusi ni dunia ni leo jumatatu mpaka ijumaa moja kwa moja kutoka hiyo Kiswahili Washington DC I say some people look at me and they're like oh Tabi is a software engineer or why are you not doing software engineering it's i mean i i could do it i can code if i want to but is that where my passion is no for me that thing that i loved was community and when i realized that i was doing it as a voluntary thing but when i realized that oh this is something that you can actually do it as a career so i said okay i made the switch because it's something i can do very well at any point in time and even some of the products like Google Crafts so if you ask me about it I can really tell you about it without even having to look at any point you know started see you at the police station tomorrow your wife is just double trouble make sure he's with Nambi but paying attention to Shiba we call it double trouble. That's exactly what I'm saying. Now you need to formally retract all the charges. And right in front of this small gathering of family and friends, admit to the fact that for years you've been blackmailing me. How much of my money do you have in your pockets? You don't know what it's like out there. And it's clear to me that you've never had to fight for survival. You don't know what life is like. Kuruzi ya kilimo kuimarisha afya na uchumi endelevu katika jamii ni msingi mkubwa wa kipindi boresha kilimo. Kipindi hiki kinajikita katika teknolojia ya kisasa, utafiti na ushirikishaji wa dawa wa kilimo kuonyesha shughuli mbalimbali shambani. Kwa suluhu ya utoshelevu wa chakula, tazama boresha kilimo. I'm your host, Esther Becky. And my name is DJ Terrence. We start you off with a word of prayer and get you started with a live transformational worship experience. <laughs> renewed by the word of God on the word segment. And not forgetting new music Zahi Wiki yani ndakuwa bado na wapatia pale wasani wamekua kiwa kani. So make sure manzo ume tune in because itakuwa zina flow pia pale mixes kwa wingi yani itakuwa zina come through and pia performance yani from our gospel artist up on gospel art. From 7 to? To 10 a.m. only on KUTV.
What's up, fashionistas? Looking for a show that brings you the latest in the world of fashion, glamour, creativity, and style? Fashion Diaries got you started as we explore street fashion, modeling, runways, red carpet events, and so much more. Catch me, Ashley Asachi, as we unlock the greatest fashion events. Keep it locked. leo tunakufunza kwa kukuonesha jinsi ya kuandaa mabuyu hapa Talent Junior Academy unachukua kikombe mmoja cha mabuyu na unaiingiza kwa sufuria Technology, science, innovation, ICT and research. These are the ingredients upon which the solutions to the 21st century problems are founded. In a world that is rapidly changing, it's all hands on deck to ensure a balance in all fields of life. Women, young and old, are also in the front line, breaking the glass ceiling, becoming thought leaders in the larger tech space. Not forgetting other societies marginalized. And when the tech avengers come together, we inch closer to a much safer, efficient, and sustainable world. What we view as a norm in today's advanced world was just an idea, and for nostalgic reasons, we trace back to the iconic days to bring you the retro tech. On Tech Innovation Show, we encapsulate all the pillars of the fourth industrial revolution, decoded in a language, all for one, one for all. Every Monday at 8.30, as we push the mantra, keep learning something new each and every day, only on KUTV, a new experience. Alright, welcome back and we are glad you are still watching on the sports show. And of course, remember earlier on I told you we will be having a discussion based on hockey. And to be precise, we want to take a look at the performance of Kenya hockey under 20 for both men and women. They were representing Kenya in the club under 20 junior championship, of course, that was held in uh, Ismaili in Egypt. And of course, here joining me in the discussion is Grafin Okombe currently playing for Wazalendo. Of course, Graffin, thank you so much for making time, of course, to talk to on the spot. Right. Well, I'll give you the first, you know, opening statement just to introduce yourself and let your viewers know who is Graffin Okombe. Uh, my name is Griffin. I am a hockey player for Wazalendo, mm -hmm. also hockey player for the national team, but uh, video coach for the under-21 junior side. Junior side? Yeah. 
All right, so graphene, let, um, let's take a look, but you have told me it's graphene, not graphene. It's graphene. Oh, graphene, graphene. all right. Now, t let's take a look at the performance of Team Kenya, of course, for both men and women, okay. uh, under 20, as far as the club championship is concerned. I want you to give us your analysis of the match, of course, from an insider point of view. I think uh, we gave our best shot, mm -hmm. the boys did all they could do, uh, considering uh, our time of preparation mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, the level of our opponents mm -hmm. and uh, how f how long we've taken to play at that level. All right. I think we gave our best shot and they played to their hearts. Okay. Well, Kenya was playing against the best of the very best. Very true. As far as the game is concerned. Yeah. Of course, in the mix, we had the likes of South Africa, of course, the eventual winners. Yeah. Then we have the likes of Egypt, Egypt and Zimbabwe. And Zimbabwe. Uh, what are some of the lessons that, of course, the team took from Egypt? Uh, from Egypt, uh, we didn't carry much. I think this time around, they took much from us. All right. Uh, but we took a lot of lessons from South Africa mm -hmm. because um, for them, they're playing in the, the senior teams playing in the pro league. Okay. So while they prepare the junior side, right. they prepare to the standards of the pro league. Also con considering the exposures they have and they have more players playing in Europe. Okay. Uh, most of our boys are from high school to the university and the experience is from the Kusa League. Mm -hmm. So we take a lot of lessons from them, a lot of in terms of game tactics, in terms of uh, tactical awareness, right. in terms of even coaching for us. Okay. When you look at the disparity, of course, it's quite enormous and huge as far as the preparation. You know, you have a team that has been, you know, preparing for this for the longest time of it. They have resources, yeah. equipment, manpower, the yeah. ability. By head, shoulder, they stand tall above Kenya. Yeah. And you have a team that the last time they participated in such tournament was in 208, now going against the best of the, of the best. very best. Yeah. In terms of level, playing field is there fairness in all this well uh, when you go to compete you have to mm -hmm. you have to accept uh, you know and prepare for the opponent the way it comes right. but uh, they're a bit ahead uh, South Africa way far ahead we've played Egypt's Egyptian side more times uh, considering we also had played the the African Club Championship which okay. Kenya hosted okay. so we've seen them uh, quite a number of times right. but for South Africa their level, the equipment, uh, the support they have from, from their country, you know, uh, it's a different level. Right. We're not so far from it. Uh, but maybe the difference is uh, in terms of equipment and experience in terms of exposure uh, in international matches. Okay. Yeah. Well, one of the lessons that this is according to Coach Malunge is, okay. um, you know, they, they, they went there on the day that they were supposed to play the match, yeah. there were issues of travel logistics, of yeah, course. Of course. Uh, some, you know, kids were not, you know, out by the time yeah. that they were supposed to travel, so they had to postpone it. When you you arrive in a tournament, um, the day of the match, in terms of even preparedness and even psychologically, how does it affect the performance of the team? Well, uh, mentally, first of all, you're out. You have to do a lot of work uh, as coaches in terms of talking to players right. to, you know, just boost them and tell them you can do it. Right. Uh, our first match was against Egypt. We arrived like uh, five hours before that match. The last time the national side played Egypt, we lost five goals to two. Okay. But in this match, we lost uh, one nil and we missed a lot of chances. Okay. So um, the boys were really drained, first of all, and then uh, acclimatized by the weather. You know, it was... Uh, sort of winter in Egypt because of the winter from Europe. So it's uh, for f most of them, uh, stage fright is the first time they arrive in a country like that. They've never played in the league. They're not starters in their teams in the league. They're used to playing in a sand-based um, surface, Maram, you know, for the universities. And uh, our astroturf is not uh, very, very modern. Mm -hmm. So for most, most of them, uh, they had a lot of stage fright. But we tried to manage and uh, they gave the best shot they could. All right. Yeah. Had the team, of course, you know, prepared on time and even arrived in Egypt on time, do you think probably now we'll be speaking, you know, another story? For sure, yes. Mm -hmm. We tactically, we were spot on about Egypt. Tactically, we were spot on about SA, 
but the difference is those small elements. Mm. What time did you arrive? Uh, what time did you settle? That is what made the difference between okay. us and the other teams. All right. In your own opinion, what do you think could have been done better to at least you know, improve you know, what we saw? Uh, during the match or before mm. back here in Kenya? Uh, I'm talking about the whole process before, during, okay. and probably now that we are talking about the future, even after yeah, so the match. For before, we need to really raise our standards in terms of uh, the, 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 the players we want to prepare to play at international level. Mm-hmm. We need to prepare players uh, in regard to the standards set by top, top nations. Okay. Uh, I'll not base much on equipment because uh, mm-hmm. maybe of the high cost of living and we keep talking to the government about this on and on and on and on and then there's a new government coming. So mm-hmm. we really don't know. We have to try and work with what we have. Okay. That is what we say at co- as coaches. But yes, we need equipments. Mm-hmm. We need fresh, modern equipment so that our, our standards, the way, you know, hockey is... Uh, you play with a stick. Okay. Even if uh, your stick is not 100% like theirs, so the way you pass the ball, the way you receive, you receive the ball, it's all different. All right. Yeah, in terms of uh, uh, the number of young players uh, who play in the league, we have to improve. We have now to shift focus from the older players mm-hmm. and train more younger players to play in our league. So that by the time we play the next tournament in two years, they have that experience. Mm-hmm. They've played in the league matches here back. Um, a number of young players in the national team. We had like uh, three who have played at a senior level, right. but not uh, not much, maybe two cups alone. So we need more young players playing at that senior level. Okay. In terms of exposure, we need more friendlies outside. We need to travel to these countries or either they come to us so that we play these kind of matches. Right. At this, If we play at this level, then we can really say we are ready and we have prepared. Okay. Well, you've talked about the future. And of course, indeed, the future is in the young generation. Yeah. And uh, you have highlighted some of the, you know, the misses that we actually have been experiencing for quite a while. Yeah. But at now, uh, the situation is at hand. Of course, we have this problem and we have to work through yeah. this problem. But to navigate all these things, it will need cooperation from you stakeholders yeah. and even the government. Yeah. But having said that, um, what does it take actually, you know, to be at the top? It takes everything, mm-hmm. a lot of discipline. Individually as a player, you have to be very disciplined, you have to be very committed, you have to work your way through it every day. Right. Uh, in terms of uh, system, in terms of support, you have to rely on all stakeholders. They all must stand up. Mm-hmm. I may be doing my job, you may be doing your job, but at the end of the day you're playing in a wrong surface, you cannot compete with top level nations. Mm-hmm. We have to invest fully to be able to compete at that top level. Mm-hmm. The difference with them again and us is how we invest and how we set up our right. way of investment to the point of it's the last minute that the government release funds. Okay. Yeah. okay, when you talk about, you know, investment and development, does it point, you know, a finger to the lack of interest in the sport itself or is it just that there are no mechanism in place and the right people to push for these reforms? Um. I don't know. I don't know how to go about it, but uh, from my tech, I think is uh, you know like lack of the right mechanism, okay. uh, maybe not the right policies, and still goes back to the government. All right. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, like for instance, when we 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 planned for for the under twenty one, we asked this uh, like six months ago, and we travelled uh, a day to the tournament. Okay. So issues like this, and you're handling players, uh, young players. It affects them mentally. They lose the interest. So it all goes back because they have a lot of passion. Mm-hmm. But when they come, they invest their time, their money. They, you know, they, they abscond classes to be able to play the sport they love. And then they are disappointed. It takes much more work now to bring, back, to bring them back to the sport. Okay. Well, let's talk about, you know, the chance that Kenya miss, of course. You know, having missed the opportunity to represent the country, at least in the global stage, of course, um, what was the effect and uh, how was it? Just how painful was it for the team? Oh, very painful. Mm -hmm. Very, very painful. Um, Like I told you, tactically, we were spot on. We knew we would beat these teams. We studied them a lot and uh, we did a lot of homework about them. Uh, We needed to win two matches to qualify, but we won one and we lost two. 
So the first day we lost, the second day we said we are going for a win. And then the last day we had to win. But we did win because it was against a, a very big, massive experience of the African mm-hmm. side. Uh, of course, uh, when you prepare a team, you prepare, you either win for a result or you draw or you lose. So when you prepare players, you have to, as a coach, you have to prepare them to accept the result mm-hmm. so that they facilitate whatever comes right. and accept, process, and move on to the next. Okay. Uh, of course, it was a toll on them, but now we we have talked to them. They are moving on well. They've gathered the experience and the lessons, and they're sharing it now through the Kusa games, mm-hmm. through the league, the local clubs. Right. I want to understand, you know, the ruthlessness of this uh, South African <laughs> side. Mm-hmm. Of course, their first match, of course, Kenya versus Egypt, it was by a margin of one goal. Yeah. Then the second match, it was disaster. What's so different about the South African team? Well, the second match, we won 3-1 against mm-hmm. Zimbabwe. Oh, right. So the last match was a give it all against South Africa. Uh, we were, uh, according to the South African coach, we were the team they fear the most mm-hmm. because they had watched us play 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 they watched us against egypt they watched us against zimbabwe they had an easy match against um egypt they won three nil mm-hmm. but easily against egypt uh, we lost it our boys uh, because we played they scored first we okay. scored again so it was one one and then we got comfortable we forgot to stay in structure and you know for an experienced side like south africa that minute you misconcentrate they punish you okay. so by half time it was three one and our boys had really and then when the fatigue started to kick in, you know, the jet lag and you've been playing for day one, day two, started kicking. Mm-hmm. We could not throw anything. We just started to tell them, push whatever you can. So South Africa knew we arrived late. They knew we are playing them after a very strong match against Egypt, after a very strong match against Zimbabwe. Right. They knew this is the time to kick these guys. Okay. So I blame fatigue. And of course, um, they have a good uh, coaching staff. They're well equipped and the experience and the exposure, it was hard. Had we play them in the first uh, match, probably we'll have different results. Okay. That I can assure you. All right. Well, um, had Kenya, of course, clinched the ticket, how special will yeah. it have been for the team? Very big for the hockey fraternity. Right. For Kenya, you know, a global level. We've been so, 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 so far away from that stage. Okay. Uh, it's uh, the people who play at that stage last played maybe in 1990s. Uh, for a long period between 2000 and now it's been South Africa and Egypt dominating and we've been coming in third or fourth third or fourth if we try so much maybe we are lucky for number two but again the number of slots for Africa maybe is one or two teams so um in terms of quali- qualification it will have been good for us also for sponsors to come in in terms of uh, sponsoring hockey in terms of endorsements uh, in terms of equipments in terms of now Re, re, how do I put it? Reinventing the sports. All right. Yeah. Well, you are you are a man who has at least played in Kenya. Then you went to Italy, and of course you have you know experienced both side of the divide. I'll say it because one is a big disparity between the hockey system in Italy, in Italy. and in Kenya. Yeah. Okay. Based on you know your voyage experience, and of course here in Kenya, what is some of the things that you'll say? Um, as a once a player mm-hmm. in Italy, you will borrow and bring it here in Kenya. Something that is really working there that you think will be helpful here in Kenya. What I will borrow is um, how they set up at club level because they have leagues even for the under six. Right. The very young group, they go to under 10, they go to under 12, they go to under 15. So they start nurturing these players very early. The mm-hmm. players are used to the system. The players are used to, you know, to the system as early as six years, they start being introduced to the sport and they play even at national level. They compete throughout the country. Another thing is how they promote the sports Mm -hmm. because uh, they have a system where, you know, the way we have PE lessons in our schools. Mm -hmm. So the club uh, attached to the school around or the club near that school, they go to the school during PE lessons to promote the sports. Mm -hmm. That is one thing for sure we need to borrow. So this way you have every kid on the block, they know about your sport. They have interacted with your sports. They have tried your sport. I think that is one big thing we need to borrow. In terms of, you know, physical abilities, we are way advantaged, you know. Sisi ni watu tunakimbia, We are way advantaged. But how do we really use it to advantage, no? Because we don't start this sport early. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, uh, when you look at um, you know all the system put in place, and of course from those that um, from established countries like Italy, South Africa that you have just uh, talked about, do you think maybe here in Kenya we could be somewhere maybe in the near future because right now it will be a tall load of course, but right. do you think, do you foresee a future for hockey in Kenya? Yeah, I do. In mm -hmm. terms of uh, the work we are putting in place, in terms of uh, the knowledge we are feeding to our players, yes, we are headed there. All right. Uh, if we get our leeway with the government and we have uh, a new astro mm -hmm. and more playing fields, then for sure we will get there. The difference now between us and them is our infrastructure. Okay. Yeah. And um, what are you pushing right now, of course, for change? What are some of the things that you are really pushing and advocating for? Uh, the first thing now is to have a new playing field All right. in Nairobi. If not across uh, other, other, other counties, at least one new playing field, because the surface we're using is very old. It's not even the modern one. So when we go to you know the the the, the competition outside there, our players are on a on a stage fight. Mm -hmm. They're not used to that playing surface. It's a new surface, you mm -hmm. know. So they have to adjust. So we really are pushing for you know playing surface, and then we are really pushing for now investments and sponsors to come in to our mm -hmm. sports. We don't have another alternative. We have to push for it so that our sport will grow. Okay. When you talk about you know sports, it's all about promoting the sports. Of yeah. course, when you are in boxing, before match, there is promotion of the fight, yeah. so that um, investors, fans, everybody could join on board. Yeah. But what is so special about hockey that you know can go against the sh uh, the ordinary, the norm about the society uh, out un there? Unlike other sports, hockey you play with an equipment outside your body. Okay. And it's one of the fastest games. There's a lot of thinking. There's a lot of it's a full body use sport because you're standing, you're bent, you're high, you're low. Mm -hmm. You have to concentrate. You have to stop the ball. So in terms of even uh, mental awareness, IQ level, it's one of the sports that makes you top. Mm -hmm. Very good for kids because they, they they become very sharp in class. They become very intelligent. They can react in a matter of seconds to things they can process information very quickly so it's it's not just a sport to be played uh, on the field but it really changes your cognitive abilities all right yeah well um for young players who want to join you know to join hockey and probably they are watching right now and they're just wondering at the end of the day what is in you know for me because you'll have to invest your time on it and yeah. uh, there is good and quality players out there True. but the issue of time is something that really you know it's very interesting to take a look at yeah. because when i take my time to come a training at the end of the day will it put food on my table yeah. those are the big questions that many people ask so in terms of you know at the same time nurturing young talent and even in the process rewarding the effort yeah. how do you you know deal with such issues so what we are doing now is you know partnering with universities partnering with uh, local organizations you know in terms of work for for our players in terms of job vacancies in terms of scholarship for students so that when they come to play at least they know through these sports mm -hmm. through this sport i'm able to get my scholarship through this sport i am able to bring food back at the table that is where we can start for now as our sport is growing, for sure we'll get to a level where we can say we have enough investors, we are playing, we are paying you to play the sport. Mm -hmm. As a country, we're not yet there. Maybe rugby are trying, um, football is trying. Of course, athletic, it's way different because it's an individual, you know. Ours is a whole big, big, big team sport. Yeah. So we are, we are moving there. For sure we are getting there. Okay. Now that you have, you know, talked about steps to be taken, uh, let's talk about even, you know, the status of the current league, of course, okay. the status of hockey league in the country. Okay. Uh, do you think we are at par with the rest of, you know, the world? The rest of the world, of very competitive leagues in the world. We have one of the most competitive league. Mm -hmm. But the problem with our league is uh, a lot of our clubs are self-sponsored. Okay. So in between the league, we have issues with financial, you know, planning and all that. So the difference between us and the world is that 
them they they only worry about play because you know they have sponsors they have investors they are their work is to play mm-hmm. ours you have to play you have to fund your own playing and that is why at some point you say you know let's take a break let me you know and then it after ya tumbo kwanza and then i come back that is the challenge we have but in terms of quality we have a lot of quality in this country we have a lot of quality that needs to be nurtured needs to be guided in a certain direction mm-hmm. that is how i see it having played in italy and having played here locally i really see a lot of quality a lot of players who can play out there mm-hmm. but i hope we'll get to a point where we will be able to keep this quality here we will even make our leagues more interesting and even have, have players from outside you know from europe and asia coming now to play in our local league all right um i've seen you of course as a player uh, these are some of the things that um, you have been experiencing of course yeah. um in the field and uh, during your uh, during your time before you went to italy um do you think you know the problem that used to exist probably right now there now at least we're beginning to see some sort of improvement yes for sure yes uh, not all of them mm-hmm. uh, because uh, there are other people like me in the sport who really love the sport and took that step to say no i can do something mm-hmm. maybe i didn't have this i have to make sure those who are coming you know after me have this mm-hmm. so that is the the route i took that's why i'm i'm still able to play for my club able to play for the senior team and still able to coach the junior side nikurudisha right. mkono Okay. because um otherwise if you say this is not done this is not done if you focus on the frustration and you do nothing you just become a keyboard warrior all right yeah even as uh, you know we wind up this discussion i want this to be your parting shot probably okay. and what could be your message of course well my message is uh we are taking the tunnel to the light mm-hmm. for sure uh, we need a lot of support from the government we appreciate this kind of support from the media because now people will look at this sport now people will see this sport we want this to be aired more our sport and and more of promotion we want to encourage new kids in the block to join our sport all right all right um graphino kombe thank you so much of thank course you. for making time to thank speak you. to all the sports and of course we wish you all the best you. in your endeavor as a player and of course as a coach who is nurturing young talent we show the best well that was the um, graphic of combo of course uh, was a lendo player and uh, the coach for that matter giving us some brief highlight of what happened in egypt the lessons that they learned and what they hope to change in the near future of course um, we'll be taking yet another second break but when we come back we'll be uh, diving into matters to do with um boxing but in particular thai boxing of course and i'll be joined by o- john ochea ochieng of course this is the coach uh, for gidurai thailand boxing club plenty more to follow after uh, the break but remember there is a big match that is going on currently that is happening liverpool versus manchester city and liverpool are leading yet again courtesy of the one and only Mohamed Salah. I think Mohamed Salah have mastered the art of destroying Manchester City. Of course, it's a beautiful match, the battle of the titan. Remember, all is at stake for Manchester City because the title is at stake. If they win, if they lose today, the gap will be stretched to 8 in advantage of Arsenal. But if they manage to win today, then they'll be piling pressure on league leaders Arsenal who enjoy um, a, con- a comfortable 8 win or 8 lead that is point at the top of the summit of English Premier League should they uh, by the Arsenal have a match today and they'll be playing against Leeds United remember earlier on we asked you about our question of the day what's your take on Harambe Stars vs Iran performance remember that match was played during the midweek and it was an international friendly the first one after the lifting of the suspension that was imposed by FIFA in November the year 2021 let's take this short break when we come back it's all about Thai boxing <laughs> Welcome. 
welcome to Children's Corner. I am. Welcome to Children's Corner. Children's Corner. Oh my goodness. Possessing your property, intellectual or material. This and more only on the law master. Leo to Nakufunza for Kuanesha. Jinsi ya kuandao mabuyu hapa Talent Junior Academy. Unachukua kikomo mmoja cha mabuyu na eka unaigiza kwa sufurie. Beka makari. Kizoesha mtoto kumupanyia kila jisi. Nao. Unaweza kana wanakuwa lakini haelewe. Nao. Kala hapa hapo sasa masomo ya takuwa ya na maana kabisa. Hello everyone, this is the new chapter of Let's Be Fit. I'll be host DiCaplo. I'm here to give you various workouts. I'll be having different trainers. Uh, we'll have Zumba classes, we'll have aerobics classes, we'll have uh, box exercise, we'll have cutter box. Just the show comes every Thursday from 6.30 a.m. to 7 a.m. Keep it locked, make sure we keep fit, and that's it from me to you. kazi tunaweza kuanzisha miradi yetu ambayo ingetusaidia kubadilisha maisha ya wazazi wetu kwa vijana wenzangu wengi wale wana kazi lakini ikiwa sisi wenyewe tutajiamini tunaweza kujiajiri wenyewe Afrika kwa kweli tuna mahitaji ambayo ukiasuluhisha unaweza kuathiri watu kwenye bara hili bila uoga watu huwa na uzalishaji zaidi wanajawa wana ujasiri wanakuwa wapumifu na kuwa wenye maarifa. Niliamua kuacha kazi hata kama sitafanikiwa nitakuwa nimejaribu nitakuwa najua haiwezekani. Hakuna kitu cha ajabu hapa. Kila anayepata ufanisi ufanya kazi usiku na mchana. Kitu kitakusukuma na kuwezesha kupata maarifa ambayo huko na Tunajaribu kutengeneza kitu kitakachopita mipaka nchi hii. Ikiwa unataka kubadilisha ulimwengu anza na nyumbani. What I've heard about Kambas. Kambas is full of freedom. Nipimilative. <laughs> 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 To the church o'clock show. I'm your host, Esther Becky. And my name is DJ Terrence. We start you off with a word of prayer and get you started with a live transformational worship experience. <laughs> renewed by the word of God on the word segment. And, and not forgetting new music Zahi Wiki and in the Kobado na Patia Pale was a new Mekoki Wakari. So make 
make sure mwanzo ume tune in because itakuwa zina flow pia pale mixes kwa wingi yani zitakuwa zina come through and pia uh, performance yani uh, from our gospel artist up on gospel app from 7 to to 10 am only on KUTV Alright, welcome back and this is another episode of course. Of now we'll be talking about it's all about boxing. Of course we'll be talking about, you know, the future of boxing, everything in between and of course I'm joined by the man himself, John Chair for Cheng and of course this is the founder, should I call you founder and coach of course of the Thailand Gedrai Club. boxing club of course yeah, that is after mm-hmm. our coach Norton all right yes well uh, and of course um, there is some matches that uh, of course one match in the early kickoff that is between Manchester City and Liverpool that is currently underway and the scores right now are 1-1 of course um, uh, Liverpool was the first one was the first team to score courtesy of Mohamed Salah then uh, Manchester City reply back and now the scores are 1-1 square well alvarez is the scorer of um, uh, it's the one who scored for manchester city and he takes you know uh, arling hollands uh, today position he is in front of the leading he is leading the front line in the absence of harling holland the lethal striker and of course arguably some say the best in the world right now but football aside now let's talk about boxing coach yes um kwanza kabisa chami ni kushukuru aku at least kutenga muda kukuja kujumuika na sisi tuongee mambo na boxing lakini kuna hii jina hii thai thailand boxing hebu kwanza tufafanulie hapo kwanza kabla tuende sana okay thailand boxing club tongea kuhusu boxing thailand boxing club hiyo jina ilikuja kwa sababu ya mali ambapo tulipata space ya ku train mm-hmm. eh, kwa vile tulipoanza eh, mambo ya boxing ama mazoezi ya boxing na kwanza tu kuianza ni kama tuko na hiyo nini ya aim ya kucheza blow mm-hmm. lakini ilikuwa tu ni ile kujikinga mtaani unajua mm-hmm. na umauri ile ya mtaa mm-hmm. lakini baadaye baadaye kabisa wakuwa na kocha mmoja ambaye alikuwa ni mzee kiasi sasa alipokuja ndiye akatuambia pana 
hii hii boxing i train you kwa sababu ya umanga mtaani mm -hmm. hii ni hii ni game na ina train waka talent sasa alipokuja pale alipata tuna train kwa ka nyumba tu ka trench akakuwa kameisha tumehang tu kibag pale gloves ilikuwa karatasi za maziwa unaona mm -hmm. pads tunashika zile ma slippers na tunaona na there we go mm -hmm. so alipokuja njia alikuwa amecheza alikuwa mwanajeshi hapa kahawa so after ali retire akawachana na boxing katika ali retire jeshi akaritaya boxing alikuwa na heshima huko sasa akakuja akapata vijana akasikia vijana fulani hapa mtani wana ile moral lakini wanaifanya kwa nje ile nje ile ifai mm -hmm. eh jisa sisi tulikuwa ni kukatana mtani na ile mataito tunaelewa mm -hmm. eh mtaa ya mambanda unajonga tu vile iko eh, na ile kwa respect eh, kuna eh hey, nani yule hey, nani unaona <laughs> <laughs> so lakini alipokuja mm -hmm. tunashukuru nashukuru ngi sana kwa sababu alitupatia mwelekeo akatuambia mm -hmm. pana vijana hii kitu Mm -hmm. kitu ni ni sport mm -hmm. ya pili nafaa kuwa na discipline ya hali ya juu mm -hmm. ya tatu unaweza anajira kutoka kwa hii sport mm -hmm. kufungulia milango and we are, we are like how so ndio tukatafuta mali kulikuwa na enough space tukapata hiyo club ambayo inaitwa DSI mm -hmm. kamusha ndage dorai mm -hmm. inaitwa DSI ilikuwa inaitwa Thailand ilikuwa inaitwa Thailand mm -hmm. sasa sisi tu wale, ule msee pale alipotupatia nafasi ya kutrain mm -hmm. it was like giving back eh, ama kumshukuru mhm tukaita githurai thailand boxing club right. ambaye ime stick mpaka sasa hii right. yeah so wakati wakati sasa sisi tulikuwa tunacheza mm -hmm. under coach Norton mm -hmm. eh, ambaye baadaye kabisa Norton akashifta akakuja kahawa kaanzisha klabu nyingine tukabaki kama mayatima mtani mm -hmm. sasa juu pia mimi nilikuwa nimecheza nimecheza boxing nimecheza league nimecheza Kenya Prisons mm -hmm. sasa ile wakati pia nilisikia ni kama nimechoka na hii mambo ya boxing niliamua ku give back kwa mta zile skills nilikuwa nazo zile vifaa nilikuwa nazo nikaanzisha club right. e pale mtani okay. nikatu nikairinim tu hiyo jina hiyo jina ika stick Thailand Thailand Right. Yes. So kwa wale watazamaji ambao wanatutazama saa hii wajue Thailand si Thai boxing uh -uh. Thailand ni jina tu. Si Thai boxing. Uh -huh. Thailand ni jina. Eh no wao no wasi confused Thailand iko eh, iko gedo. Iko gedo. Mm -hmm. eh, iko gedo. Wajue tu yani tu hiyo ni jina tu. Uh -huh. eh, no wasi changanyikiwa. <laughs> wasi 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 sacho kwa Thailand. Ah ah. Iko right. gedo. Okay. Yes. Na so coach um, ukipatia na maelezo nimesikia uki ukitaja taja a few things yeye mkianza mlikuwa mnaanza tu kama watu ambao mnataka kujiprove wa hey, and respect pale lakini ungakuja ukaambiwa mm. hii kitu inaweza kupatia ajira kwa table hey, yeah. at the same time pia ni sport yes. so nataka tuongelee hayo mambo mawili yes. eh, umuhimu wa boxing mm. eh, katika jamii yes. na um, kando na kujikinga na pia kisporti Mimi naweza tueleza kama coach ambao pia umeshiriki mchezo umuhimu wake ni gani katika jamii? Eh boxing boxing ni muhimu sana katika jamii kwa sababu mimi hata kama mimi sikupata nafasi ya sana sikufaulu sana kwa yani pande kwa hiyo ajira na nini hiyo mm -hmm. lakini boxing ina ajiri. Mm -hmm. e, inaweza weka chakula katika meza ya mtu. Mm -hmm boxing inaweza fanya maisha yako ibadilike kabisa kwa sababu imebadilisha wengi hata wengine wametoka katika mikono yetu mabadilisha ni kabadilisha familia zao kwa sababu tulipo introduce ya atakwambia hii kitu it is a discipline sport si ya ukora si sana sana si ya kujidefend unaona lakini tunaichukua kama career unaona mm -hmm nachukua kama career kama football kama rugby hockey na hizo vitu zingine zote na inaweza kubadilishia maisha mm -hmm. na hakika mimi nina ushuhuda ya kwamba imebadilisha maisha ya vijana wengi hata hapo mtaani kwetu okay. imebadilisha vijana wengi wamepata ajira wengi wamepata nafasi kwa Kenya police wengi wamepata nafasi kwa kwa jeshi wengi wamepata nafasi kwa prison mm -hmm. eh hey, na wakati umepata hiyo job na boxing ni game utacheza na ifike mwisho 
lakini ile job uta retain mm-hmm. so familia yako sunaona ugali kwa meza mm-hmm. eh, so boxing nikiambia hata wale wanalitazama ndio wakati wengi wazazi wala wajui wanadha ningi tu ni kama hooliganism ni kitu ambayo iko na in discipline mingi lakini mm-hmm. na, nataka ni washue la kwamba mm-hmm. boxing hakuna game ina discipline mm-hmm. kama boxing okay. for is, for instance miwe ni opponent wangu tuna fight na wewe mm-hmm. we have to shake hands before we we fight before the game and after the game we must hug each other mm-hmm. unaona na hiyo auta i take inje ya ring ati ya wewe ulinivunja sana kwa ring sasa tuonane hapa ndao na pana by, by, by the way miwe sema that is the holy walk ambayo we can never have Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu bado mmepigana dini umenivunja eh, ukakuwa declared winner and the, eh, eh, tunabaki tu kwa friends mm-hmm. hata baada ya game tukikutana tunaanza ku reverse eh na unakumbuka game fulani mm-hmm. eh hey, game fulani mazuri nipelekaga eh na akwambia eh hey, mazuri kuna punch fulani ule nipigaga yani mm-hmm. ina create more more friendship mm-hmm. than enmity right. yeah so boxing is a is a good game All right. Yes. Well, nataka tuongelee historia ya club yako hata tuseme hivyo. Kwanza ulikuwa ulienda ukakuwa ukakuwa mpiganaji hata tuseme hivyo ka present Kenya vitu kama hizo. Then after hapo so ukona now this is the time now to pay back to the society. Ni nini iliku motivate sana uka feel like sasa hii ndo time ya ku chase kukuja kufanya kitu katika community yangu. Okay. Yo, eh, unaona mimi nilicheza boxing kwanza nimechezea the same same club yetu ya ya Thailand. Eh, baada ya kukosa kukosa ile sponsorship tukahang. Tukahang kwa hewa tujui mbele wala nyuma nini. Mm-hmm. So hapo ndipo nilienda prisons. Mhm. Kachezea prisons sana. Na eh, hata ngawa sikupata hiyo nafasi ya ajira nini bado sikukufa moyo niendelea tuna mahasuli zangu mtaani mpaka nikaitafika mali nikasema ah wacha kitu sasa ifike mwisho tuweza tushughulikie familia vile umesema mm-hmm. eh na so wakati wakati nilirudi mtaani kaka kaka wewe sasa hizo ule coach wetu ambaye alituseme ali, ule baba yetu alianzisha hiyo hiyo klabu mm-hmm ni kama alipata ka sponsorship kidogo kuna jamali mshika mkono sasa badala ya arudi kwenye ile mtaa ya lihama mm-hmm. akakuja hapa kahawa so mtaa gedorai na gedorai dhaila na, na ndio ambayo ilikuwa ni ni club pekee katika gedorai club ya kwanza katika gedorai apart from club mingi unajua boxing ime originate kwa islando sana mm-hmm. kwa sababu kwa mahalls manini yani walikuwa na hizo ma facilities unaona So hii area yetu Thailand ndio the first club ambayo ilichipuka sasa. Mm-hmm. Unaona sasa baada ya hiyo alipokuja hivi mimi nikakaa nikakaa nikaona hapana. Hatufai kuacha mtaa ika hivyo iko. Unajua gedho vile inakuanga na mambo mingi vituko nini vijana. <laughs> Tukaona the more vijana na kwa idol idol mm-hmm. ama idlers the more mtaa inakuwa risk. Mm-hmm. Unaona. Sasa nikaingilia katika hiyo gap hiyo nafasi nikatoa zile vitu zangu nilikuwa nazo na nacheza nazo nile by then nilikuwa na kila nilikuwa na bag nilikuwa na gloves nilikuwa na kila kitu so hizo vitu ndo nilianza nayo club tena tukaanza na vijana pole pole unajua wengine wana fall by the way wengine wanashikilia maono na mpaka hapo club ikarudi tena na iko very strong mm-hmm. yes so saizi uki look back yes hizo struggles zenye umepitia paka sasa hivi penye umefika pengine yeah. kuna tuseme maboxo kiangalia hivi unajivunia wewe kama coach unasema like um, asinge kuwa mimi pengine huyu angekuwa jinsi alivyo sasa hivi nasema najivunia sana tena si nimekuhesabia nime ningakwambia mm-hmm. tangu nilipo anzisha hiyo club vile like when i decided to give back to the community I started uh, club ni kama na yanzisha mpya from nothing yeah? mm-hmm. so wale nili recruit katika katika hiyo club unajua ni kama ball 
watu wanaanza kama poli ya jwala ka team nini hao wanaenda ni ni the more watu wengine wanakuwa serious wengine wanaenda ki drop unaona mm. so wale tulianza nao wengine wali drop wengine walishikilia na wale walishikilia by by the way wako mahali mm-hmm. wako mahali ndio mm-hmm. niko kama niko na kama David Njuguna mm-hmm. Njuguna ni yako Kenya police saizi ana ana yako Kenya police hapo mm-hmm. eh, kuna watu wengi wamepitia wamepitia mkononi mwangu eh, kuna watu kama kina kina Maina yako prisons hapo wamepitia mkononi yani nikiwaona mali wako inafurahi Mm-hmm. Eh, na wengine wengi saizi for example hata madem hata madem saizi kama anu wanjiro ambaye alikuwa na cheza alichezea alichezea Kenya hii women world 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 nini world women championship mm-hmm. huo ni kichana wangu mm-hmm. unaona wao hao wametoka India juzi na nuna mwingine hapo ambaye anaitwa Freeza pia alitoka alikiandikwa na jeshi alikuwa kwa mkono wangu so unaona ninajivunia ni baba. Eh hey, mimi ni baba. <laughs> <laughs> na sasa nataka venye umeiweka vizuri eh, safari vile kwa sana nataka tuongelee about eh, development ya boxing especially hapa Kenya. Kwa mtazamo wako umeiona hivi? Kwa mtazamo wangu ni kile naweza sema ni kwamba kwanza sana sana nataka kuongelea kwanza na Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Eh I I happen ya kwamba paka saizi mimi nilikuwa nimeshikilia timu ya Nairobi as, as a head coach na Nairobi tunasema is the mecca of, bo- of boxing mm-hmm. Nairobi ndio jikoni mm-hmm. ya boxing Kenya mzima mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. na Nairobi kiwa ndio jikoni ya mm-hmm. boxing eh so far so good but not real not so good one kwa sababu hakuna sponsorship hakuna ile morale ile hata vijana wanasikia at least tunapigwa morale mahali nini so uh, the, uh, as much as wanapenda ile game as much as sisi coach tunapenda ile game tunajitolea tuna sacrifice kwa sababu ya vijana pata kuna sponsorship eh ni mnaweza kuwa mna umetrain na tunia game flani maybe league inaenda meru umetrain mpaka last minute amko shua kama mtenda hiyo game mm-hmm. yes kwa sababu ya nini hakuna sponsorship hakuna ndo so nao vijana unawapata dakika ya mwisho unawaambia mali hii game haiendeki unaona wame unaona wamekufa moyo ile morali imerudi chini unaona lakini e, Nairobi ndio ina producing the most boxers ambaye ni best boxers eh, katika mm-hmm. inchi na unajua tu jikoni moto ikizima basi hakuna chakula mm-hmm. e, hakuna chakula watu kama hiyo Kenya police watu kama hiyo jeshi watu kama hiyo prisons unaona depend kwa wale maboxers sisi tunainua kwa grassroots unaona Mm. wale tunainua kwa grassroot kama na Robi na Robi na vilabu mingi like 42 like 42 clubs unaona mm-hmm. so unapatanga tunafanyanga selection yetu before to, before to tuende tukutane na hizo vilabu zingine so tunatoa the best mm-hmm. ambao tunaenda tunakutana tuna kama polisi jeshi nini sasa kwa ndo wanaonanga na wanafanya scouting eh wanaona yule boxer ni mzuri yule ni mzuri yule ni mzuri unaona bati kana pata job pale lakini hakuna sponsorship ndio hizi vitu zi ndio hizi vitu zi happen ndio mm. effective kwa grassroots hapa mm. lazima tukue na sponsors unaona mm. eh nikisema sponsorship tunaanza na equipment mm-hmm. unaona so umebu, umesikia nikikwambia tukianza box tuna makaratasi za maziwa na maslippers hata sasa hizi katika vilabu mingi unapata kama ni gloves hakuna ukiona hizi zile gloves tunatrain nazo mazee hata uweze uweze taka kuziangalia tena ukiangalia zile mapads nini unaona so sponsorship kwanza kwa kuanzia kwa grassroots unaona it is very important lakini hiyo kifail my friend hata mm-hmm. national team ni, ni itakuwa ni, ni bure kwa sababu haitapata watu wale nini wale watu effective nasema chakula jikoni ni moshi na inawaka huko chakula ile itakuwa ita the final product inakuwa tu inanuka moshi <laughs> si ndio hiyo so ile kitu mimi naweza ni kwamba sponsorship au masinona kama kitambo 
hata kitambo ulikuwa unapata Kimbo ulikuwa unapata eh, NCC ulikuwa unapata yani nini mingi maizi makooperate nini mm. mingi maroiko, yeah. eh, maroiko nini kila mahali wana bila wana bila ulikuwa unapata hata ama box walikuwa naandikwa at ale age mm-hmm. unapata huu cheza Kimbo ameandikwa job huu cheza Bruaris ameandikwa job ule e bidco wana yeah. moral ule kijana anajua hata nikitoka pale niko na mshahara niko na allowance lakini sasa hizi kama na robi mnaweza enda game eh mnaenda game kama Kisumu kama kocha anaanza kupiga simu na Robi. Eh mazi hata fair kurudi atuna. <laughs> Unaona? Eh maybe mmewe asubuhi. Hu boxer ya kunywa ta chai. Sasa tena coach stress ni. Na unajua mm. boxer boxer atakangi stress. Kisha mm. mweka tu akifata tu stress kidogo. You know the result. Mm. Eh itakuwa well, shaky. Ukiangalia hizi ni challenges yes. yes. Lakini tukiangalia the good side of it. Mm. Mm. Eh, the good side of it ni ya kwamba despite all the challenges mm-hmm. we are producing all right yes we are producing eh yeah. yeah, dis- despite is on nini mingi nini we are producing mm-hmm. and we are still feeding the the, the nini our national team no right. because ni hizi vilabu ambazo zina feed ile national team and that's why unasikia nikisema ya kwamba tukapata ma sponsor wakuje huku mashinani unaona no vilabu zikuwa equipped eh ma nini ma coach wako equipped unaona mm. boxers wako equipped we can do more than we are doing now all right yes umongelea about um, Nairobi kuwa na vilabu mingi sana yes. na boxers wengi yes pengine hii jikoni mnaona mnazenda pia mujenga jikoni mingi mashinani hivi ndio pia at least kila county pia ianze ku produce ama ni nini inavutia sana ma boxers Nairobi kuliko hizi county zingine. Okay, unajua Nairobi Nairobi kwanza ni capital city. Mhm. Si ni kweli? Mm-hmm. Na Nairobi ina mita ina nini ina vilabu mingi unapata kila kila mtaa ina club eh. Kila mtaa ina club. So sisi unaona tukifanya selection yetu mm-hmm. tunaweza ifanya maybe unaweza pata kama vile tulifanya nini? Tuseme kama novice mm-hmm. championship. Mm-hmm. The the entries ya boxers ilikuwa like 200 plus mm-hmm. unaona so hiyo 200 my friend ndio umaji umaji wewe ndio mshindi mm. maybe kwa katika about ka, weight category yako mkoa tu kama 20 after yani before fight mako upate number 1 na number 2 mtakuwa mmechunga watu mmepata the best lakini unapata vilabu zingine unapata maybe katika county wako na vilabu mbili ama ni moja so unapata pale hawana hiyo time ya selection wana just kama ni klabu moja si ni wewe utacheza hiyo utacheza hiyo utacheza hiyo so wana bring what they have si ndio but not their best but na robi we try to bring out our best mm-hmm. kwa sababu we go that through channel unapata unapata kama wiki mzima like hapa gedrai juu hiyo game ilikuwa gedrai hapa eh, pale the club the truth tulicheza like uh, like four days like four days tukitafuta team ya ku represent na robi katika national na after selecting that team hakuna team hakuna team ilipiga na robi mm-hmm. na robi iliwapiga kaa wote haya tena intermediate the same ambayo tulifanya national tulicheza kule ngong eh, kule rongai na robi ndio ile the, the, the winning team kwa sababu wali select the strong team unaona na hata katika national team na robi is strong ju like the last year wakati tulipomaliza ligi ya, mu, ya mwisho kule Kisumu na Robi we, we were number 3 uh, after after police uh, after police and and nini and, uh, and army and the fab we were number 3 mm-hmm. yes kumaanisha na Robi we are still strong so tukapata tuka mtu akutushikilia mm-hmm. kwa ma team na Robi uh, my friend hakuna klabu inaweza tupiga huko Kenya all right Yes. Ukiangalia okay, about uh, mtu wa kuashikilia kuna pia aspect nyingine wewe inakuja in play. Yeah. Promotion ku promote my fight. Mm. Uh, good example. Pengine tuacha tutumie huyu ya Madonga. Yes. So yeye kuna venye ana ana hype fight. Yes. Na bring in more funds yes. and then uh, kushow pia sponsors anataka kujua hey ni nini inaendelea ina, 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 huko Nairobi. Pengine yeah, 
Eh, wewe unaona ni wapi tumelegeza sana hiyo area hususan unaona kama kuna kitu tunaweza fanya kuhakikisha kuwa in as much as pia tuna tunaomba usaidizi kutoka kwa serikali mm. na au pia ma sponsors pia sisi ama nyinyi kama washikadao katika hiyo sekta ya eh, boxing pia nyinyi mna attract sponsors okay kitu ya first kuna tofauti ya amateur boxing and professional boxing mm-hmm ile professional boxing ile ni biashara. E, ni mimi na wewe. Mm-hmm. biashara. So mimi najichocha huko najichocha kule nini ke watu wanaangalia ni aje. Lakini hata hata tu nini isipokuwa hii game ya nani? Hii game ya hiyo ya Madonga. Hapa Kenya tuna maboxer wazuri sana hata kuliko hiyo Madonga. Mm-hmm. Lakini hawajulikani. Mm-hmm. Ile tu umesema hiyo hiyo nini? Hiyo hiyo nini ya kufanya mtu anakuwa na hype hype unaona? So unaona boxer kama anani kama ukwiri. Unaona ukwiri is much far eh, katika nini ya boxing kuliko madonga. Lakini utapata huku kwetu hata si watu wengi wanajua ukwiri. Unaona wakati wa madonga alijulikana mpaka na watoi wadogo. Nasikia watu wengi mtano wanaika madonga madonga. <laughs> Unaona? Na by the way nilienda hiyo game. Yo yo IP nilifanya kukajaa sana, kulijaa sana mpaka hata mtu kuna tu mtu alikuja kuona madonga hata si fight. Mm-hmm. Kuna mtu alikuja kuona madonga na that's why walijanjaruka wakaweka hiyo game ya mwisho. Ndio ingechezwa mbeleni watu wanaongea wangeona hiyo game na wae, na waishie. Unaona? So uh, kile hapa amacha katika hii boxing ya amacha na ndio ifanye hii hi, ni ni kwa na hiyo hiyo hapo unasema. Unaona? It's just hiyo hiyo sponsorship. Tunapata kama unajua okay na Robbie wana team strong. Police wana team strong. Jeshi wana team strong unajua kuna wet flani ana robi ambayo raibu wake ya kopol, ako police na ni kitu inajulikana hata kwa mapepa unajua sikiza tu unaangiza mtu kwa mapepa kuna kwa mapepa eh na nini likely wakutane na nani so watu wanajua eh na ule na nini noma raibu wake uko na ndo anakuta unaona unapata ile game watu wametokelezea wame wengi unaona but haiwezi fanyi haiwezi fanyika kwa sababu ya hii la, hii like 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 ya sponsorship hii tunasema mm-hmm. eh, the bottom line ya hizi vitu zote ndio uh, ikuwe nini ni sponsorship hiyo ndio tume lack katika nini ya boxing okay yes well um, nini kama washikadao yes. si mkiona kuna zile lessons mna boro yes. moja wapo ni yenye tume tumetaja saa hii kama ya mandonga mm-hmm. pengine amuni kama mnaza Um, come up na strategies kama hizo kwa make sure like mke organize ata fight pale mtaani uh, inakuwa na mbwembwe mashamra shamra pia na attract something then kukiwa na fight tunasema like let's say if e fight e wacha kila mtu akide na entry ya 50 50 at least uh, tupate vya trainer sponsor vijana wetu kwenda kwa competitions kama national league hiyo hiyo I- I- iko sawa hiyo iko sawa lakini unapata tukirudi katika mambo ya serikali mm-hmm. sports ilikuwa devolve okay zindio ilikuwa devolve katika katika county mm-hmm. unapata pesa ya sports iko iko katika county mm-hmm. lakini saa zingine ukikaa chini unajiuliza hii pesa ya sports iko katika county inafanya kazi gani unaona juu haya unapata maybe kama wabunge nilikuwa nimesikia sijui tu kuna pesa ya sports katika katika nini constituency level unaona lakini uki nini vizuri uone pesa inafanya kazi gani mm-hmm. so vile, vile tuko nasema vile sports ko devolve kama every county mm-hmm. kama sisi ni Nairobi tukienda game tuna represent nini mm-hmm. tuna represent Nairobi county which ambaye tuko na governor wetu ambaye ni Sakaja mm-hmm. na na Sakaja by the way anapenda boxing sana mm-hmm. anapenda boxing hata last time tulipoenda kwake wakati tulikuwa tunaenda the league zetu mwisho za eh, tatu za mwisho alichipin na uliona na niliona hata hata change kwa kama boxer alikuwa na morale nini ndio anajua atalala vizuri atamuka kule vizuri hata nini vizuri lunch box lunch iko poa unaona na maybe kalaons kake kadogo kako so alikuwa na ile motisha alikuwa na ile morale lakini sasa ile hizi vitu hakuna unapata huko boxer ko down eh coach ko down boxer ko down sasa nani atasaidia nani atasaidia mwingine so hii hii mimi ningeomba sana sana una kama mbeleni kulikuwa kana hizi kama kulikuwa kana hizi ma, ma, ma para stato ilikuwa ndio kwa kikoso ulikuwa unapata kuna CT NCC 
iko na team na niliona wakati wamileta kama kwa ball unaona wakati walikuwa kisumu unaona lakini kitu kama boxing haikuwa hapo so mimi kile ningeomba ya kwamba kama ingewezekana na kina waziri wa michezo ambaye bado pia ni youthful huyu babu na mwamba anaweza instill hizi vitu kitu ya fast au organize ma cooperate unaona waweze kusaidia waweze kusaidia sport kama hapa ka, gedo tuko na banks kama ngapi tuko na banks ka, karibu tano, sita. but ni nini wana give back kwa community ndio sisi ndio tunawekeza huko nini ndio sababu wamefanya hizo banks zikuwa pale kumaanisha kuna faida wanafanya pale e, e, wanapata pale lakini wana, wana give back community na nini unaona at least wangekuwa na identify hata kama ni football hata kama ni volleyball hata kama ni boxing sisi tutakuwa tuna sponsor tuna sponsor hii kama giving back kwa ko, kwa community unaona mm-hmm. so haya vitu kama safaricom vitu kama hizo mamozati ma manini mabetini hizo vitu kama hizo zinafaa kuwa zini si ball peke yake unapata wengi wanakimbilia anga wanakimbilia anga tu kwa ball wamesahau kama kuna michezo zingi so tunawaaji wangeweza kukamu kuja in unaona waweze kusaidia hii, hii mchezo mm. itakuwa mzuri sana right. yes well um, pengine kuna ndoto maybe siku moja Kenya tutakuwa pazuri ndo pia to match standards ya wale ambao pengine wame set the bar high Kenya Kenya tuko na, na very potential boxers and very hard working including our coaches lakini like, like uh, katika mtandao niliona our communi- communication director ambaye anaitwa Shugare alipo alipo chukua video ya gym kama ile ya India <laughs> ile gym ya India compare na zile tuko nazo huku unaona so in term of facilities pia tuko down tuko down sana na i think serikali inge come up na kuna gym ya serikali ambayo ina nimini gym ya boxing ya serikali sasa hizi kama national team yetu inataka ku train hakuna specific gym ya watu ya serikali utajua wako pale mara wako hapa depo unapata ni bag moja imehangiwa hapo na maboxer unapata ni 12 eh mara unapata sijui wana trainer wapi you know, facilities hakuna nini vitu kama hizo so unless tu serikali unajua kama kama national team ya, tuseme team yetu ya national team ina represent nini na represent the country mm-hmm. si kama professional professional na as much an, as anakuja ana come from Kenya ana represent ye mwenyewe mm-hmm. yule ndo yake anapewa hiyo ni ndo yake mm-hmm. <laughs> unaona lakini unapata team yetu ikienda utapata wamepewa flag ya ya inchi kumaanisha wana represent nini wana represent inchi so wakienda wa perform vibaya huko ni inchi ime perform vibaya <laughs> unaona wakienda wafanye vizuri kule ni inchi inapata sifa Eh hey, hey, tulifuma mapoksa yetu tumekuja na gold tumekuja na nini lakini sasa tukilak hizo facilities unapata hata training hata training program inakuwa ngumu eh hey, maybe uliko na hitaji bag kama tano hivi mzito gani na light nini maboksa kama watano kwa bag unapata sasa instead ya maboksa watano kuna maboksa wawili kwa hii bag moja moja kwa saidi ile moja kwa saidi au wengine wanafanya nini so ina interfere na hata program ya ma coach eh hey, na the same case hata na Nairobi yetu Mm-hmm. So mimi kwanza na Robi ndio kwanza nienda tumesema hiyo ndio jikoni ya boxing. Mm-hmm. So uh, mheshimiwa wa governor Sakaja naomba sana achipie aweze kusaidia na Robi kwa sababu inatumanga sana tukienda game ya nje unapata kama Busia wanasema sisi tumesponsorwa na county yetu nimefanya tukafika huko. Alafu tunapiga hesabu ati watu wa, watu wa Busia sio watu wa Transoia wamesponsorwa na na county na sisi na robi hapa na sisi ndio sisi ndio sijui ndio capital city sijui sisi ndio nini my friend tunanaga game hata hata mjelewi mm. yes so akachipin asaidie club ya Nairobi hata boxing Kenya itakuwa itakuwa poa hata tukiangalia back then wale ma champion wengi walikuwa natoka wapi walikuwa natoka Nairobi mm-hmm. walikuwa natoka Nairobi juu unajua hata ni hata kama ni football unacheza ball lakini kidogo na umepasiwa boli hivi e umekumbuka keja mazia kuna taunga jioni <laughs> unaona uwezi kuwa effective 
huwezi kwa effective mm. lakini tukianzia na mambo ya equipments haya tuanze na mambo ya ya nini hiyo kushughulikia ma, what maboxer nini na nini mm. katika hali yao ya maisha ah boxing itarudi mali ilikuwa right. eh, juu huyu president tuko naye eh, ambaye anaitwa Jamal anapenda boxing anapenda boxing kuna mtu anaingia kwa mfuko yake anajaribu kufanya hivi na hivi ndio boxing by the way hata boxing mali aliyokotea si mali ilikuwa Mm -hmm. ilikuwa chini kabisa unaona wakati before camp tuko napelekaga international game tunapeleka maboxer wawili lakini sasa hizi unaweza wanapeleka full team mm -hmm. tunapeleka full team hata kama unapata performance kwa sheki sheki lakini unapata amepeleka so huu mtu akona hiyo hiyo kitu at heart so akapata support kutoka kwa serikali na nini mm -hmm. ah Kenya tuweza rudi mali tulikuwa okay yes um umeguzia about uh, international team na unajua kina dada wetu ni juzi juzi tu ndio wametoka India hiyo yeah. world boxing championship of course na hawajakuja na kitu ambao tunaweza sema sisi kama wa Kenya yes eh, ndio hii kitu tunajivunia yes pengine umetaja ume baadhi ya changamoto ambao pengine inaweza kuwa ni sababu hmm. tunaona hizo performance lakini unaona pengine tungefanya zaidi ya matokeo kama hayo ambayo tuliona yes Mm -hmm. tungefanya zaidi ya ya hiyo matokeo ambaye tuliona ya kwanza hii zile challenges ambazo tuko nazo kwanza ni exposure ya ya boxers sasa unaona kama hawa hawa hii women championship hii world women championship sisi eh, kuna game ambayo tulikuwa mbele za zone 3 hapa Kongo ambaye ni feature not all of our ladies but some mm -hmm. from that that tournament hakuna game nyingine wamecheza lakini uko unaona kule ma, kule kule ngambo kuna sijui wameenda wild nini sijui wamecheza sijui sijui game gani game kubwa kubwa unaona so wamecheza game nyingi kubwa kubwa wale our ladies wamekaa tu hapa walikuwa kwa ile ile ilikuwa ni golden belt ile kwa Morocco unaona mm -hmm kidogo sijui alikuwa game gani alafu anakuja mnakutana nao kwa 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 kwa, kwa women sijui women world championship na sisi sisi tumekaa tu hata wengine wetu watuapii kwa hizi league zetu za, za local sisi tunangoja ile game ile, ile trials na ile game kubwa so mimi ningeaji sana sana our ladies mm -hmm. ya kwamba wakati hata kawe ni mzuri lakini wakati unakaa sana bila fights mm -hmm. bila fights in ina ina ina, ina kuduas more than more than good ju ule mtu mtu ana uzoefu anacheza kila siku na mtu anacheza mara moja siyo kwa mwaka ni vitu mbili tofauti by the way ni kama bingu na nchi mm -hmm. alafu ati huyo ndio mnaenda ku compete na yeye my friend ni ngumu so mimi ningeaja hata makoch wetu wale wako pale juu wana handle zile 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 hizi nini hiyo national team ya kwamba wangeka kitu ni kama mandatory Mm -hmm. ama waanze ligi ya, ya ladies mm -hmm. katika katika inchi ya kwamba wewe kama hujacheza hizi ligi hata hiyo game kubwa hautaenda unaona itafanya wa ladies wakuwe active unaona kwa sababu kila unaona ligi tuachanga kila mwezi mm -hmm. so kila mwezi anakuwa na akokuwa game alafu tukipata game ya nje hizo ma friendly watengeneze hiyo game za nje mm -hmm. wakuwe wanaenda ndio wajue wajue wale watu wanachezaje na sisi tunachezaje so the room of improvement ni aje unaona lakini ukikaa tu hapa ati unangojanga tu game ikikuja wewe well, ni champ unaenda mm. coach coach mawazo naona ni mazuri sana yeah. lakini nani anazipeleka kwa meza mawazo iko kila mtu ako na idea ya ku improve team yes. at the end of the day nani anapeleka mawazo kwa meza okay unajua hii team tuseme kama national team ini team yetu sisi zote mm -hmm. even as a country mm -hmm. we own this team mm -hmm. kwa sababu ikienda pale perform vizuri tunasherekea kila mtu anasherekea hii tulipata gold kwa boxing nini kila mtu anasherekea unaona mm. ikienda kule lose kila mtu anaudhika <laughs> unaona so hii 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 team ni sisi zote kila mtu mwenye anapata idea lakini sasa kuna wale wana handle hii team mm -hmm. unaona wana handle hii team the the best thing tuweza fanya maybe ni kuwa feed na, na maybe ile idea mm -hmm. eh unajua kila mtu kuwa na, na nini yake ile idea 
kama if they buy it well and good unaona hivyo au anaona inaweza saidia wajaribu well and good unaona kwa sababu kila kila mmoja wetu hapa tuko for the better the betterment of our our national team eh kienda nje ifanye vizuri because our wako kwa national team tumesema ni watoto wetu mimi nime produce ule coach mwingine wa Kariu Banga me produce ule wa Kibira me produce so it is a combination kutoka kwa hizi vilabu nilikwambia 40 za kuna mwingine pia ametoka Mombasa ame contribute so wakati ana lose mm. sisi pia vilabu tu asikia ai ai ule ni msichana ngo ame lose ai ai ame unaona mm. eh hey, lakini sasa kuna hizo viwango sasa sisi tuko tuko kwa county level kuna mm. kwa kwa wale wa kwa national level so sisi tu maybe tukiona kuna mali inaweza saidia we just like advise them Mm. So ni hao ndio wajue kama wa the what nini our advice we put into practice ama alright yeah the coach sasa tukifunga kabisa yes. eh, nataka na hii itakuwa pia ukitoa your last your last uh, comment ama parting shot yes um, bado tu tukisalia tu kwa um, matokeo ya wanadada wetu Yes. Tuliona kulikuwa na malalamishi kuhusu uamuzi. Yes. Wakisema pia hao wameonelea Kenya sana. Yes. Pengine unaona kuna ukweli ndani yake ama hiyo tu pengine inaweza kuwa ni excuse. Eh, naweza sema kuna kuna ka ukweli eh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> kuna ka ukweli kwa sababu nilikuwa naona um, eh, sana sana hii mambo ya rizi zinyinaka ni kana kwamba bado ina exist eh. Mm-hmm. Eh, juni, nilikuwa na for example ile referee wa, wa China. Mm. Kama ndiye alirefisha game ya Freeza akaisimamisha in the first round hata ilikuwa ni CG within how many seconds. Hata boxer hajatupa ngumi nini. Na maybe na, na ndio nakwambia maybe ule ana umaarufu anajulikana nini kwa hizo kwa sababu hizo magame. Unajua hii hi game pia tunaangalia au yeye anajulikana. Eh wewe na hatumujui. Mm-hmm. So pia ma, ma, ma judges maybe na marefari wanaangalia ngio side. So wanaona huu ni champ. Mm-hmm. Na huu hata tumujui ana jina katika hii nini katika hizi magame tunacheza. Mm-hmm. I think pia hiyo inaweza changia ya pili. hata mm-hmm. e, si Kenya peke yake ilikuwa nalalamika. Mm-hmm. Niliona nchi mingi za Kiafrika zinalalamika Botswana, nini nchi mingi zinalalamika that the, the judging mm-hmm. and was not fair. Right. Unaona was not fair towards zile vilabu zimetoka Afrika. Okay. So juu hata uliona hata the same referee ambaye alisimamisha game ya Freeza ndio the same referee alikuja kusimamisha game ya Ungare. Sawa sawa. Yes. Coach. Yes. Um shukran sana yeah. na pengine wacha nikupatie tu dakika moja tu hmm. utu, your parting shot. Eh <coughs> Okay mimi kenye naweza sema ni kwamba eh ngumi katika Kenya na inaweza elekea mali pazuri tukiwa na na wafadhili wakikuingilia kati tuache kutegemea tu maybe kama ni serikali peke yake na unapata serikali inafadhili michezo mingi so wafadhili wakikuja ndani waweze kusaidia hii mchezo wetu wa ngumi kuanzia kule mashinani kuanzia katika vilabu mashinani kwa sababu zile vilabu ndio ndio jikoni ndio zina ndio zinaza wa, wa, waweza kutiwa ile moral makocho watiwe moral boxers watiwe moral i think in future Kenya tunaenda kurudi mali tulikuwa na tunaenda ku produce the best hiyo ndio naweza sema kwa sasa hivi right hey, coach shukran sana kwa kutenga muda kuzungumza na sisi uh, tunashukuru sana wewe uwepo wako hapa na tunakukaribisha siku nyingine pia asante mm. right that was um, coach share of course talking to us about um, the latest development in the world of boxing of course talking about the past present and indeed about the future and what he thinks shall be done in order to steer ahead this ship in the right direction and of course um, remember we were following up uh, a couple of matches that uh, is being played right now in the English Premier League and of course the early kickoff was between Manchester City and Liverpool of course Manchester City leads right now they with two goals to one of course and it's an update that will keep on following but let me read you about uh, fixtures the other fixture that are scheduled to be played today and of course Bournemouth will be playing against um, Fulham at uh, at 5 pm and of course the next match will be Nottingham Forest 
will be playing against Wolves. Then we have Crystal Palace. Later on, we'll be taking on Leicester City. Then we'll have Chelsea. We'll be playing against Aston Villa at the, Standard, at the um, Stamford Bridge. Um, West Ham United will play Southampton tomorrow. Then Manchester United will be up against Newcastle at St. James Park. Well, those are the matches that will be played today. Then we had um, FKF Cup. And uh, uh, pretty quick, Gormaya will be up against Kakamega Homeboys. I believe that match has already begun. Then uh, Kenya Police will be up against Ulinzi Stars. That is the Ulinzi, or some call it a Fande Derby. Then KCB up against Bidco United. We have Rainbow will be tussling out with league leaders, Tasca FC. Then we have Sofapaka against Darajani Gogo. Then on Sunday, we'll see Kariobangi Sharks will be up against Equity. Then Moranga Seals versus FC Leopards. Bandari FC will be playing against um, Muatate United at Mbaraki Stadium. Remember, this is uh, the F uh, FKF Cup that will be playing on this. And of course, um, Chair, thank you so much. Santi. And uh, for making time, of course, to speak to us. Mashuru. Very grateful. We hope to see you next time. Yeah. So that um to Neza Pia. Jifunza ngumi kidogo. Yo Sante sana Pia. All right. Hey. Thank you. Sante. Alright, and now remember earlier on we were talking about, you know, the Football Kenya Federation Cup that will be played, uh, that will be played today, a couple of matches that will be played today and tomorrow. And we have the likes of uh, defending champions, that is Gurmaya FC, uh, will be up against a number of host of teams that will be taking participation in this particular league. Remember Gurmaya, last time they aged out the likes of FC Leopards. Uh, in the final the FKF Cup that played uh, the last season before things went south. And remember that fixture will be coming. Okay, right, we have it there. Gormai will be up against Kakamega Homeboys. Remember Kenya Police will be playing against Lindsay Stars in a funded derby. Then KCB will be up against Bitcoin United. Uh, later on, um, we'll be having the likes of Rainbow. We'll be tussling out with... Uh, the current champions, the defending champions, Tasca. Then Sofa Parker will be up against Darajani Gogo. Then uh, on Sunday, we have a couple of matches that will be played. We have the likes of Kariobangi Sharks will be up against Equity. Then Moranga Seals will be playing against FC Lovens. And the last match will be Bandari FC will be playing against Muatate United at Mbaki Stadium. Remember, there is a couple of teams, this is pretty quick, that uh, qualified for the um, African Cup of Nations qualifiers that will be held in Cote d'Ivoire. And the first team, to, uh, of course, that will be joining, it's obvious, the host that is Cote d'Ivoire, uh, they qualified by the virtue of being the host nation. Then we have the likes of Morocco, South Africa, Senegal, the current um, defending champions, of course, then Algeria and Burkina Faso. Then we have the likes of Tunisia. Remember in this edition, the 24 
uh, African Cup of Nation qualifiers or rather African Cup of Nation that will be played in Cote d'Ivoire. We'll see a total of 24 teams taking participation in this particular tournament um, uh, that will be played in, of course, Cote d'Ivoire. That is many more that will be happening. And this is as far as team is concerned. Remember, there were still a number of teams that were playing in the national playoff. Uh, they are hunting, two teams are hunting uh, tickets to play in the national top tier league. And remember, administration police were up against Kitale, uh, RFC, then Jaquat, uh, who will be playing against Machakos University at Jaquat grounds in Juja. Then we have the likes of Moy University will be up against Machakos Rugby Club. Then, last but not the least, Mombasa Rugby Club will be up against Sigalagala Political uh, Technical College that will be playing there. All these teams will be hunting tickets to take participation in the Kenya Rugby Union, that is top tier league. And um, pretty quick uh, about that. And let me take you pretty quick to the English Premier League. Remember the first match, the early kickoff that began at 2.30 p.m. That is uh, the match between Manchester City and uh, Liverpool. Remember, currently City leads 3-1. And of course, it seems like it's a revenge time. So City are in front, of course. The first goal for City was scored by Julian Alvarez. That is the scorer for Manchester City. Remember, Liverpool were the first one to at least ship in past Liverpool, uh, past uh, Manchester City, courtesy of Mohamed Sa. But things have changed. Uh, the ship will be sailing um, for the Liverpool, for the Jagan Club boys. And this is the real determiner of title. Many had anticipated that this will shape the race as far as the race for the English Premier League title is concerned. Well, there is a host of teams and matches that will be played at 5 p.m. today. And of course, we have the likes of Bournemouth will be up in action against uh, teams. Uh, Bournemouth will be up in action against uh, Fulham that will be played here at Vitality Stadium. Then we have Nottingham Forest will be up against Wolves. Then Crystal Palace will entertain Leicester City. Arsenal welcome Leeds at Emirates Stadium. Then we have Chelsea will be playing against uh, Aston Villa at Stamford Bridge. Remember on Sunday, three matches are on card. Then Manchester United will be up against um, Newcastle United. And that match will be played at St. James Park. Then West Ham will play against Southampton at the London Stadium. Then Everton will entertain Tottenham Hotspurs at Goodison Park. Well, those are the English Premier League as far as those particular fixtures are concerned. Well, I think it's the right time now to fold up, pack our things and head home. Well, it has been a pleasure, of course, for your esteemed company for the last one hour and 15 minutes or so thank you so much for those who made this production a success and for you our esteemed viewers for always keeping us a company of course my name is auma evans it has been a pleasure May you have a lovely and fantastic evening until next time bye bye for now